family, it's the Mobile Home Diva, and in today's video, we're going to be touring the Blue Ridge. It is a live oak homes. It's out at Wayne Fire Homes in Byron, Georgia. Let's go. This one is a little hard to film you guys because of the position of the home. It is uh, coming down this walkway and kind of hard to get the entire house. I definitely can't get around to the back. I don't think it's raining out here. I don't know if you can tell, but it's raining. So I'm gonna show you as best I can the front of the house, or maybe I can scoot through here. But it is raining. Let's see if you can see. I don't know if you can tell the rain. The raindrops are falling. But I'll try to show you the back real quick. And then I'm going to run inside. So this is the back of the house. Okay. That's the back of the house. Now let's get out of this rain. the things I do for the people I love. Okay. All right, let's get into this. Whew. Okay. 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 All right. Very good. So, we're gonna turn around here. This is the front entry. When you come in, you have this dedicated entry space, which I absolutely love. You guys know I love a good entryway, whether it's a table or a bench or a combination of the two. I think it would be absolutely beautiful here. You've got this shiplap, white shiplap when you walk in. The walls, I don't know if you can tell, are finished drywall, but they're a beautiful kind of light gray, which goes well with these dark floors. Absolutely love it. I'm gonna try to shut the door for a minute for you to see, but it's raining, so it's cloudy. And I don't want it to be too dark, but that is your entry, you guys. So this, the house doesn't have light. We'll go back and go ahead and open the door. Now, when you walk into the house, into the entry, this is what you see. This is your living room area. Love the entertainment space. I toured another house um, today that had the same entertainment space. Love it. All of this is living room. You've got these three large windows just pouring in natural light. Of course, vents are in the ceiling, ceiling fans are in here really lovely this entertainment center has stonework and it has this sort of tin here just different textures as well as the white shiplap different textures and colors just I really feel like it just makes a space you know what I mean I love the built-ins I could see decor I could see games I could see uh, movies. If, do people even still buy movies? You can get everything online. But I just see this as just a family spot right here. And you can put a lot over here as well as a nice size TV. So really nice. I'll give you another view of this space from over here. Just so you can appreciate how big this space is. You also have... Now, if you can imagine, y'all know we love a sectional. I would have a sectional here. So this would be like the feature of the room. But you have this space here that you could put maybe a sofa table, two lamps. You've got the outlets here. Whatever you like. Really nice. 
Now, from the couch, looking into the kitchen, you can see it's open, but it's kind of a dedicated space. So your dining room would be straight ahead. As you can see, the chandelier would hang up there. All of this space would be your dining room area. Huge, huge space. You could put 12 people in this space. Like this is a huge space for your dining room table. You could add a buffet in here if you like. It could be the playroom or it could be a study room, craft area, whatever you choose it to be. I see a dining room here and I see a large table and a place for all my family to gather. On into the kitchen, you have this huge block island. This is actually granite. So you got a granite countertop in here, four cabinets down below. You can put two, maybe three bar stools on the other side of the island, depending on how they're made. Um, but you don't want to put too much because it's over here by the refrigerator. I would stick two stools up under so that when company's here, you can pull it out or when the kids are doing their homework or hanging out with me in the kitchen, you can pull it out. All of this space is cabinet space. You have a drawer for every cabinet. That is the best feature. I just absolutely love it. You have a slightly darker gray uh, drywall in the kitchen. And then you have this marble tile that trims the base of the wall all the way around, but it goes up the wall behind the stove. Really lovely. Love the detailing. This home features a built-in microwave, and then your cabinets don't go all the way up to the ceiling, so if you want to use that as extra storage space or for extra appliances or even decor, you absolutely have that choice. Always love a cabinet for every drawer because it gives me options. If that is what your lower cabinets look like. You also have shelving in there, which is a nice feature because a lot of homes don't. It's just the open space. And then that's what your cabinets look like. Love this huge window to look out of while I'm doing the dishes, watching the kids play. Um, you've got these two windows that open. Let's see if we can get them open. Oh, they, got the, they got the block here, so I can't open but they slide to the middle. So you have these two spaces that are open. Your sink is raised up a little bit and uh, you have this industrial faucet. So really nice, really, really lovely. Now in this kitchen, you have a pantry. Here's your pantry door here. So you've got this pantry space for even more of your food stuff or appliances. Who doesn't love a kitchen with a pantry? Love it. So that's your kitchen and dining room there. Now, off the dining room, you have your back door and your laundry room. Huge laundry room. You could put two really tall front loading washer and dryer right there. You've got storage space up top. And then across from your washer and dryer, You've got space for a deep freezer or a desk for bills or just whatever you like, a, a area to sew, do craft work, just whatever you like. But this is a large space for your laundry. Really nice. Now I know you wanna see the bedrooms, so let's go and take a look at the secondary bedrooms first just wanted to give you another view over here beside the entertainment center you have your hallway that leads to your secondary bedrooms to the right you have your first secondary bedroom lots of space in here you guys all of this is bedroom so that is your bedroom and then you have a walk-in closet in here. Really nice. So this is your first bedroom. 
And then right next to your first bedroom is your second bedroom. Again, another great bedroom. Love the large windows. I always love when they have the large, like I don't know if you can tell, but it's not a regular size window. It is a large window. This bedroom also has a walk-in closet. So that's your walk-in closet right there. Really nice. Really nice. So that's your second secondary bedroom or additional bedroom. And then next to it, you have your secondary bathroom. It has a transom window over the top shop, tub, tub shower combo. And then you have a single vanity in here with counter space. You know, that's where your vanity lights so are going. They're not always installed because the house is going to be moved but you can see where the bulbs go. Very nice. All right, so I'll push back so you can see the space again. This is your little hallway. You have your bathroom, bedroom, bedroom right there. Really nice. Okay, now, remember when we came in, that great entry? On behind the front door is the master. So it's on the other side of the entry, okay? Here's your master right here. Huge, huge master. Loving all the space in here. Really nice. You've got two windows right here. Really nice. Can you see the rain coming down? Yep, that's when I was out there eating, you guys. Really, really nice. We're gonna look at the bathroom in a minute, but we'll check out the closet first. Just wanted to give you another look. Right here you have huge master closet. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Lots of space in this master. You could even, because I could hang tall stuff over here, I would probably bring this lower shelving around on this wall. So I have so much space for me and my honey stuff. Really nice. So that's the master closet. Let's go check out the master bag. Loving it already. Loving it already. Really nice. So when you walk in, you got your double vanity there, cabinet and drawer space, double mirrors, two mirrors, and your vanity lights above. Really lovely. Then you've got this huge shower with a real person's bench. <laughs> you know, sometimes they'll have those little small benches. But this is a real people bench, you guys. Rain shower, shower head, beautiful tile. I love these doors. Instead of sliders, it has a real door. Really lovely. You've got stonework on your garden tub over here. Huge garden tub window, and the blinds are already in. Really nice feature. So a lot of times you have to get, if, if you would have purchased this lot model and it didn't have blinds, you'd have to invest in blinds. So I always love it when they have the blinds in the home already. Like the ship lap is a feature wall in here, really lovely. And then next to your toilet area, you got storage over there. Really nice. So your towels and extra personal hygiene items could go over there. Really lovely. Again, this is the Blue Ridge. It's out at Wayne Fryer Homes in Byron, Georgia. It is a live oak home. Love it, love it, love it. Really love it. This home doesn't post prices, you guys. So if you're interested in the price, got some really nice people 
out here at uh, Wayne Fryer Homes. They'll be happy to talk to you about the specification and price of the home. Just give them a call. Their information will be down in the description box below. Have a good day.